that He protect us from our capacity to sin as well as from the consequences of our sinning. We believe that whomsoever Allah guides, as He is the only guide, no one can lead that person astray. And whomsoever He does not grant guidance to, there can never be anyone else to guide them besides Allah Rabbul Alim. We bear witness to the testimony of faith, to the declaration of truth. That there is no God except for Allah who is one. Without partners, without beginning, without end. Absolutely, purely, uniquely one, Subhana. And that his final prophet and messenger for all of humanity is the Prophet Muhammad. May Allah's peace, blessings, mercy and all goodness forever and always be upon him, his beautiful family, companions and everyone who seeks to emulate him in belief, worship and lifestyle. Allahumma Ahibbati, there is a chapter in the Qur'an that if I were to ask you to raise your hands, whether you know chapter, I'm sure every single hand will go up. Not only that, but if I were to ask you, do you have this chapter memorized? I would once again say that perhaps the majority of your hands would go up. Surah Al-Takasul. How many of you have this chapter memorized? Let me quickly see inshallah. Raise those hands high. Just like I thought, the majority, mashallah. Being one of the shortest chapters, the 102nd in the Qur'an, it is a chapter that every one of us, not only should we read it and have it memorized, but we should also know what it means. What it is that Allah is calling our attention to. And today I want to just very simply focus on one aspect. Allah Rabbul Alameen begins saying, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The first ayah after he begins telling us of his beautiful self, that he is Allah, the one and only, the most merciful, the especially merciful. He tells us that we are distracted. Distracted by seeking to amass and to acquire. Whatever it may be of this world that we have our focuses on, that we want more of. It has distracted us from, to the point of even tricking us and fooling us, deluding us from the greater purpose and reality of our existence on this earth. He concludes the chapter with another very short yet powerful ayah. And it's tied into the very beginning. Then you will most certainly be questioned, be asked about. You will most certainly be interrogated on that day about a naim. What is this word a naim? When we look at a few of the things that are mentioned in the books of tafsir. Al-Imam Ibn Kathir rahmatullahi alayhi among the things of what he narrates to us from the Sahaba Ridwanullahi alayhim as well as from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and from the scholars. He mentions such things as health and free time. And these are from among the statements of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He tells us about Shelter. Think about these things as we mentioned them. Do we consider them as even being a blessing from Allah Rabbul Alameen? Or have we become so desensitized that we feel so entitled that we just necessarily take these things for granted and do not consider them a blessing, a gift from Allah Rabbul Alameen? Such that we should recognize that there will be a questioning on Judgment Day with regards to these blessings. Do we consider our health? Do we consider shelter of our homes? 
food, water, even they've mentioned that you don't have to go barefoot. Shade. Free time. Transportation. Family. And I would dare for us as a homework assignment, brothers and sisters, I would very highly encourage every one of us to begin a list. That is going to, inshallah, increase this list as well as perhaps better help us in a more practical way, practical aspect, come to really worship Allah with greater sincerity and love by recognizing how He has been. Blessings in a quantity, in a diversity, in a variety that only He can do, subhanahu I want us to focus on, as an example, and a very practical one, one thing. And so that through this one thing, that our love and our devotion to Allah can truly be put into perspective. And it's the blessing of water. Yes, water, H2O. Now, mind you, although they say three quarters of the Earth's surface is water, did we understand how much of that water is actually fresh water, sweet water, water that we can actually consume? Here's from Wikipedia on fresh water. Here's some facts and information. The source of almost all fresh water is precipitation from the atmosphere in the form of mist, rain, and snow. Fresh water falling as mist, rain, or snow contains materials dissolved from the atmosphere and material from the sea and land over which the rain bearing clouds have traveled. Only 2.75%, say 3%. Of the water on earth is fresh water. Pay attention to that. How much of our water on earth is fresh water? 3%. About two thirds of it is frozen in glaciers. So that brings us down to 1%. And a quarter of it is groundwater. That leaves us at 0.75%. And we're told that only 0.005% of its surface water is the likes of what we have of freshwater lakes like Lake Bacal, the Great Lakes, etc. SubhanAllah, 0.75% is what all of us are working with. If you think about a resource being as scarce as 0.75%, how should we treat water? How should we better come to appreciate this gift from Allah and His blessing? How should our perspective of water in this age and place of where we're living with plumbing, with faucets, with what looks and appears to be an abundance. What should our lifestyles really be like if we look at just this aspect of the world, understanding that all that we're really using, whether it be for hygiene, for cooking, for drinking, from watering on the lawns, washing our cars, regardless, 
parts of the world where people have to walk for miles to get dirty water that for us it looks like chocolate milk to eat with and to drink with. Many of 
probably get what you're worth with those little advertisements. Where they tell you, based on whether your address ends with a, an odd number or an even number, what two days a week you're allowed to order your law. Do we pay attention to that? Not only that, but they can give you further advice and tell you don't order your law between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m., for example. Are we ordering our law between 10 and 6? Well, I do not understand that what they're giving you are best practices, and when you're not willing to follow these best practices, you are wasting you are committing an excess. And understand that in doing so, we place ourselves under what Allah Basically says when He tells us, Allah certainly does not love those who are wasteful and extravagant, uh, excessive. And you can, as homework on your own, go through different other examples. When you're washing dishes, when you're taking a shower, and so on. Are we being mindful of Allah or of the Reusing. Reusing as opposed to one use throw away. One of the biggest things that we do in the district, for example, and within our own homes is bottled water. Those bottled waters that we drink and then we throw that plastic away.
So much so, it got to the point where we had to cancel the whole program. Why? Because we could not meet them. So we had to spend the day over in the evening and we were going to be asked the question on the day of judgment about these Muslims. And Allah was the judge of not those. Those who are wasteful, those who are excessive. Allah is good. Allah is the Lord of the Lord. And the ninth ayah he said, Jinn al-Wa'da, Thumma sadaqnahu al-Wa'da fa'anjaynahu wa man nasha wa ahlatna al-Musrifin. He says, the Lord of the Lord, Then we fulfill for them our promise, and we save them and those whom we will, and we destroy the wasteful, those who are excessive. Jana'ah, when we think about the problem that we have, waste of the earth, of these resources, Allah Rabbi Al-Alamin has put universal principles in place. He does not differentiate that between Muslim and non-Muslim. If we are not going to care for the earth that we live in, for the community that we're a part of, for our houses and our masjid or masajid, understand that there's going to be consequences here before we stand before him, subhanahu Let us be a mirror for each other as the Prophet taught us that the Muslim is a mirror for each other. Let us mirror for each other what is best, what are best practices. And if and when we forget or somebody else forgets, let us in a nice and gentle and wise way remind each other so that we can learn. Let us work together so that we can truly move from being the tail of humanity to being at the tip and forefront, the head of civilization. And it goes back to us simply applying our beautiful teachings of Islam. And I pray that Allah Rabbil Alameen guides us to do so along the Ameen. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad. Kama salli'ta ala Ibrahim wa ala Ibrahim wa ala Ibrahim wa ala Ibrahim wa ala Wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad. Kama barik ala Ibrahim wa ala Ibrahim wa ala Ibrahim wa ala Ibrahim wa Ya Allah ya Rahman ya Rahim. We ask you that you grant us all that is good in this life. And that you bless us to acknowledge them as your gifts and blessings upon us. And that we utilize them in a way that further brings us closer to you. And that you protect us from ever becoming oblivious to the Rabbil Alameen. And Allah, we ask you that you protect us from ever using your blessings to sin against you. Ya Allah, we ask you for the best of paradise in the hereafter. And we seek protection and refuge of you from all that can bring us harm in this life. And from the least of punishment in the hereafter. Ya Allah, we ask you that you bless us with knowledge and with wisdom. Ya Allah, that you bless us to be from those who learn and that we put all that you teach us into the best of application. Ya Allah, that you continue to increase us in beneficial knowledge and beneficial deeds. Ya Allah, we ask you that you guide us, that you keep us guided and that you bless us to be a source of guidance for humanity. Ya Allah, we ask you that you that you save us from ever being from the Ghafili, from those that are heedless and oblivious of the Ghafili. Ya Allah, as you are the bestower of mercy, Ya Allah, we ask you that you grant mercy upon all of your slaves and servants that have passed away. Ya Allah, those of them that die of natural causes and those of them that have been killed, Ya Rabbi Al-Alami. Ya Allah, we ask you that you accept those that have been killed as martyrs, Ya Rabbi Al-Alami. Ya Allah, we ask you that there is a continuation of suffering and devastation in Syria, in Yemen, and Palestine, in so many different other areas of the world. Ya Allah, we ask you that you help the aggression of all that is taking place. Ya Allah, that you guide leadership to love you and to fear you. Ya Allah, that you bless them with the best of decision making, and that you bless them with the best of advisors. Ya Allah, so that all of what they do is going to be correct and most pleasing to you. That it will be in the best interest of humanity as a whole. 
Ya Allah, we ask you, Rabbil Alameen, for those that are villainous, those that want to harm. Ya Allah, we ask you that you hold them in their tracks by any means you wish, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we ask you, Rabbil Alameen, where there is still so much of suffering and poverty, Ya Allah, that you answer the needs of all of your slaves and servants. Ya Allah, that you grant them safety, that you grant them shelter, that you grant them nutritious, clean, food and drink. Ya Allah, that you bless them with their families and that you keep them well. Ya Allah, Ya Rahim Ya Rahim, for our brothers and sisters as a whole that are ill, Ya Allah, we ask you that you grant everyone, everyone health and wellness. And of them that are local, Ya Rabbil Alameen, we ask you that you grant them all the most miraculous recovery. Our beloved Muhammad al Rabiya, Khurshid Sa'adun, Dr. Asif Sayyid, Muhammad Hafir, Adhan Bushyak, the mother of our beloved Nadavias, as well as their grandchild, Nu'man, our brother Rehan Haider, Amra Sangur, and Zubayd the Jalpuri. Ya Allah, we ask you, Rabbi Al-Adeen, that you answer from us our prayers and that you don't reject them because of our sinfulness. Allahumma ameen, ta'aqlis. Allah, 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 Allah.